This is an ABC News special report. Good morning. We begin today's broadcast with a developing story about the murder of a Quantico police officer named Keith Thompson. For more information, we'll go to Rebecca King, who's at the Quantico base right now. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Robin. Because the amount of police officers surrounding the base, we were asked to come inside to do our report. Okay, what can you share about the case so far? Authorities have shared with me that around 8.30 this morning, Keith Thompson was involved in a deadly hit and run by the suspect, Mr. Aaron Pratt, who is now in custody. Apparently, earlier in the day, the two men had an argument which was over security violations by Mr. Pratt, which police are saying could have been the motive for the accident. Oh, wow. Are there any information about the security violations that were committed? Yes. Another Quantico police officer named Jacob Houston explained that Mr. Aaron Pratt had been searched by Keith Thompson and a pocket knife was found in his backpack, which violated security rules. Has Aaron Pratt been charged with anything so far? Yes. Mr. Pratt is currently being charged with second-degree murder. And what's going on at the scene right now? Hold on. I'm currently getting word that the Thompson family has just arrived on scene and are about to make their statement on the incident. Thank you, Rebecca. We are now about to watch live coverage of the Thompson's family statement. Thank you to everyone watching at home and everyone who came out here today for support. Today, I have not only lost a loving man, but also a loving husband. Keith always took his job seriously and was a wonderful police officer, but an even greater father. But now, because of the actions of Mr. Pratt, my daughter, will never have somebody to tuck her in during a thunderstorm or be able to have her father-daughter dance at her wedding. I make this statement today to you, the American public, in the name of justice and so that Americans can see how tragic this event was. Thank you for your time and please keep my family in your thoughts and prayers. Thank you for watching ABC News Special Report. Tune in later and we'll keep you updated with what's going on with the case.